two other hometown artists are in the process of building a creative colony for every type of art there is. Members of the New York City Art Cipher are currently designing the floor and wall boards to make the space for and by artists. The Cipher is all about making the city come to Staten Island. Up until now, there hasn't been a place where people from the other boroughs would actually come here and do anything you know, concerned with art because Staten Island was never looked at as an artistic place. The Cipher's here to change that. And the artist's work won't be limited to studios and galleries. Back in May, the New York City Art Cipher Gallery looked like this. But now it's an artist's oasis with a hip, funky look to inspire everyone who walks in the door. It's a networking playground for artists. It's a place, it's a home for the artists. It's a place where artists of all types can come out, network, meet other people with their craft, learn their craft, and work their craft. Francesca Avito and Charlie Balducci created the cipher with children in mind. They've already organized artistic events for the 120th Precinct Summer Camp and are filing for nonprofit status so future programs can be better funded. There's not a lot of arts in the schools. And so if we can give it to the kids after school at any time, instead of running around the neighborhood acting like little maniacs or, you know, punking out on the streets, they can come into here and they could really express themselves and find themselves that way. What she said. But no matter how old or how you express yourself, you'll be welcomed at the Cypher, where the goal is to promote and encourage art in all forms. We touch on every aspect of the arts. Like I said, visual arts, photography, fashion designing, all that stuff is kind of mushed into one network space that's proactive about people expressing themselves through the arts. So if you're a dancer, actor, sculptor, graffiti artist, or any other kind of creator, you don't have to leave your home borough to show your stuff. There's a lot of artists on Staten Island who don't have a place to go and have to troop out into the city or far out in Brooklyn or any other place or just in their own home to create their craft so now they have a place that they can find other people and a place just to expand themselves. So if you have an eye for the arts and want to meet more people like you, check out the New York City Art Cipher's website at www.nycartcipher.com. Mara Montalbano, New York One. We could be a stepping stone for anybody who wants to use this as a hobby, anybody who wants to use this as a social meeting place, but more importantly, for people to be proactive about their craft. If you want to be an artist, you got to come here and unleash. Top movements, the up rock, which looks like fighting, and the six step, footwork when you hit the ground. I learned the six step and all the basics of how to do break dancing. And like any other kind of dancing, you can put your own spin on it. Instructors say there's much more to b-boying than striking a pose or pulling off stunts. They say it's part of hip-hop culture and it's easily picked up by people of all ages. But it helps to have some agility, stamina, and fast footwork. In Stapleton, Lisa Yip, New York One. The 120th Precinct is using performance art to help stop youth violence in its tracks. That's right, in order to prevent teens from committing crimes, Inspector Richard Bruno says he commissioned the help of some local artists to help North Shore kids channel their energy in a positive way. Members of the NYC Art Cipher are helping produce the show, which tells the tale of just what happens when teens go down the wrong path. The tip of the day is that crime don't pay. You read the dead or in jail. What more can I say? We wanted the people who would even think about committing a crime to look and see how something that they may think is not a big deal affect a community. And the Youth Forum will be held at the Music Hall at Snug Harbor next Tuesday, March 14th at 6 o'clock with a dinner reception to follow. Admission is free. For more information, call the 120 Precincts Community Council at 718-876-8497. A local police precinct's using performance art to help stop young people from going down the wrong path. New York One's Lisa Yip takes us to the 120th Precinct's Youth Forum, a collaboration between local cops, community groups, and teens. Take a look. About 500 people packed the Snug Harbor Cultural Center's Music Hall Tuesday night for the 120th Precinct's first Youth Forum, a police effort to address youth crime in the area. Police say 200 of the 4,000 people arrested in the 120th last year were teenagers. In today's society, we have, we have gangs that are taking the place of families. 
and that's something that we're trying to counter. You know, to let them know that this is a this is a falsehood. Right? There is no loyalty involved in the gang. The gang is using these kids. I mean, we want to try to pull these kids away from the gangs and get back into school. Police officials and other community leaders offered their advice on stage and local youths performed in Statistical Awareness Against Violence, a musical about crime among young people. The 120th Precinct started its youth forum to teach kids about the dangers and consequences of breaking the law. And the New York City Art Ciphers helped the police spread that message through the performing arts. A lot of kids between 14 and 18 are big fans of hip hop, breakdancing, DJing, MCing, spoken word. So we figured we'd just send a subliminal message inside those um, entertainment values. Watch me go. Through music, spoken word, and dance, performers told the story of a young man named Kenny who turns to a life of crime and winds up in jail. And I hope that, you know, all the kids that was watching in the play, you know, can see themselves you know, like a reflection and hopefully, you know, well, I don't want to go that route. The play also addressed issues including gangs, violence and petty crime. Kids my age, they don't even know what they're going for. They don't know what a felony is about and how it could affect your future. So, like, it's here to prove a point as they saw inside the show. You don't want to be in jail for 25 life. What do you think was the most important thing you learned from it? Crime always doesn't pay. A message the 120th Precinct hopes to continue to spread. In Snug Harbor, Lisa Yip, New York One. And that's the scene this hour. I'm Alicia Vitarelli. I'm back at 115 with more of the island's news. I'll see you then.